If you have a quest 2, you must do this to get max out of your quest 2. The first thing which you might not be aware of is that you can place yourself inside a virtual reality. I'm aware that it's absurd, but Meta made it possible to alter your character inside your virtual environment. This is possibly the ugliest feature I've ever seen in my life. It sounds as bad as it does. Nonetheless, you may accomplish this by going to your quest, choosing your profile image, and then selecting Edit Avatar. Then you are free to produce either the most appalling or the most beautiful thing you have ever seen. Now there is a home where you stay and locate your games every day when you open up your Quest 2. That house may seem tedious over time, but there are ways to change that. From being on a typical adventure at home to living in space to being around SpongeBob and the rest of his companions, you can go in any direction. To accomplish this, go to Settings, Personalization, and then select the desired house. I have this one where you can hang out with SpongeBob or be in the world of Minecraft. But they have two new ones that are incredibly cool that you could utilize. If you're interested in learning how to create different worlds, please let me know in the comment section below. For those of you who have a quest, the headset will ask you to adjust the IPD, which are the two lenses at the front of the headset that allow you to see very well when you first acquire it and set it up. There are three levels, level 1, level 2, and level 3 which you can change depending on how far away your eyes are. Although it can seem difficult to move them, there is a hidden technique that no one has ever heard about. Here's how to use the technique, which was created to provide a level between the three IPD modifications in case they don't actually match your eyes. Okay, here's how to change your IPD. First, find the lens by looking for it. Then, on the top, between the lenses, there will be a number that ranges from 1 to 3 you have to squeeze it between one of those figures. For example, you can arrange it so that you can see the vacant space immediately between two numbers, with number 2 on the far left and number 3 on the wide left. You should put your quest away if you are unable to complete it. Have you ever taken a trip or are you simply far from your expensive quest 2 that you purchased and were unable to download the game you desired in time? There is, in fact, a very easy way to avoid it. You may in fact download games to your Quest 2 from your smartphone. Simply launch the Meta app, search for the game you wish to download, and then confirm that your Quest 2 has been linked to your phone from the start. After that, simply scroll through the content you want to download to the headset. Playing VR is fantastic until your mother sends you a message to clean your messy room and you didn't see it, resulting in you getting punished at the end. However, there is a super easy method to prevent that from happening. You can actually link your phone to your second mission and view in-game notifications. You simply need to open the Meta app on your phone, navigate to the menu, click on Devices, push plus to add your headset, click the headset you already own, and double-check that the pairing code is identical on both your phone and the headset before proceeding. Turn on the phone notifications in VR by clicking Pair, Allowing, and then On. Although it sounds extremely boring, it was probably the best course of action for you to follow to avoid trouble. There are several amazing elements in your Quest 2 that are either unusable or hidden. Bluetooth is one function I've discovered, and fortunately, it's really helpful. Every gadget including your phone, smartwatch, TV, and even your car has Bluetooth technology. Additionally, you may really connect a suitable Bluetooth device to your headset using the Quest 2. This might be a gamepad, a pair of Bluetooth headphones, or even an unknown speaker. I don't see why you would attach a controller, such as an Xbox controller, to your Quest 2. However, to get the settings, simply go to Settings, click Devices, select Bluetooth, and the settings will be there. The main store on the headset where you can purchase games is the Quest Store. You probably don't know how to use a Quest if you didn't realize that. The majority of the games available on the Quest Store are expensive, such as the ridiculously expensive Beat Saber game that has won prizes. But I'm going to reveal a secret that will fundamentally alter the way you use your Quest moving forward. More free games are available in a different store than the Oculus Store. I'm referring to side quests. A website called SideQuest allows you to browse games that developers have posted and possibly play them for free. There is a place called the App Lab where you may download games on your headset without using a computer. There is a link in the description that will take you to the website where you can download these games. You can download any game you like by searching for it inside of your Quest 2. Have you ever been in a cool circumstance and been unable to capture it on camera? 
because it didn't wash your hands. I do, however, have a fix for you. By simultaneously hitting the trigger and holding the Oculus Home button, you can quickly capture an incredible gaming moment. You can send fast photos to your friends and family in this way. That's all for today, and I'll see you in the next one.